today's video we're going to be talking about building porch roofs and more specifically how to figure the angle of your rafter that lays up on your existing roof. So typically when you build a roof uh, your rafter will butt into a vertical beam so if it's a 412 roof you'll cut a 412 cut on the end of your rafter like a 19 degree cut and butt it into a vertical beam. In this case our rafter is laying on a roof which is not plumb is actually a 45 degree angle. Okay so now I have my handy drawing pad here a rafter um, so I know that the roof we're building on top of right here is a 45 degree pitch, a 12-12. And I know the roof coming off like this over our porch, I know that I want it to be a 412 pitch, which is 19 degrees. So the easy way to do this, and what we're figuring is this cut right here, this angle, what it's going to be where it lays over the roof, and ignore this angle, this is like coming straight out. Uh, so the simple and easy way to do this is to add these two pitches together. So 45 degrees plus 19 degrees equals uh, 64 degrees. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> so this cut, and it'll be like this on this board, is going to be 64 degrees to lay on top of this existing, <coughs> to lay on top of this existing 45 degree roof, nice and tight. Okay, now I'm going to actually show you how to do 64 degrees with this speed square. Basically, you'll be hooking on the top edge of your board, your rafter, spinning around until you see 64 degrees right there running across the same edge of your board. We'll mark a line there and extend it on out with a uh, a board or a square. We should use a longer square than that. So anyway, that's our 64 degree cut that will lay on top of this roof over here and give us our 412 pitch going out over our new porch. What we're going to do here is snap a line where the top of these rafters are going to hit and then we're going to lay each rafter directly on top of the existing rafters under this sheeting so I don't really need to put a band board on this. So it's going to save us a little time and a little material. And while we're on the subject of framing roofs, I'm going to show you a cool jig that I always make to help me clip the end of my rafter tails plumb without using a torpedo level or a speed square, so this is a lot easier and faster. Uh, first, I take a block of the same material that the, that the rafter is made out of. In this case, it was a 2x8. I cut a 412 angle on the end, which is the desired angle to cut to get a plumb cut on the end. And then I'm going to attach a piece of 2x6 to the top with two screws like this. Um, and I'm going to leave about three inches of this sticking out so that when I'm leaning over and I'm looking, I can see the edges of this board very clearly. I'll set this board on top of my rafter like so, trace this line, and that'll be my plumb cut down the rafter tail. Okay, now my associate Jason has this jig in his possession. We've chalked a line across the top of all of our rafter tails where we want them clipped and he's gonna show you how to use this thing. Go ahead, buddy. Simply set it on top of the rafter, run it up to your chalk line, and there you go. No torpedo or speed square required. Nailed it. There it was. That will get you dusty fast. As always, thanks for watching. We hope to see you again on the next video.